Good morning. I work with uh, ZX Shen and Nick Maloche, and my poster today is titled Optimization and Characterization of Nanostructured Surfaces for Photon Enhanced Thermionic Emission and Photoemission Cathodes. So what we're studying is how we can use nanostructures to enhance photoemission based devices such as electron sources or detectors, as well as photon enhanced thermionic emission based energy converters. Um, and so what we can see here is that we can enhance these photoemission based devices through two different ways. One is through increased absorptivity, and this shows that when we have a nanostructured surface, we absorb more light than a thin film across all angles of incidence. We can also excite carriers within these nanostructures to confine the carriers near the emissive surface and increase the surface collision rate, and this is particularly helpful in a photon-enhanced thermionic emission-based energy converter in which carriers may have to encounter surface numerous times before they can emit. So we can use these nanostructures to enhance uh, the absorption, the transport, and the emission phases of the photoemission process. However, it introduces additional complications in the escape step because carriers that are emitted <laughs> may encounter nearby nanostructures and be reabsorbed. So to understand this complicated photoemission process, we've developed a uh, simulation suite that models all four steps of the photoemission process. And so what we see in these numbers uh, that we calculate for the yield of these devices, we can enhance the overall yield if we go to this uh, 350 nanometer tapered grading structure, or if we structure the surface even more, we can actually hurt the overall yield. So there's an optimization that has to occur. So on my poster, I'll be discussing more details of the photo emission suite, as well as uh, structures that we've actually fabricated and tested. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Our next speaker is Jared Shui. Hi, my name is Jared Schweed, and uh, I'm also a student of Professor Ziek Shen and Nick Malaj. My poster is going to be about photon-enhanced thermodynamic emission for solar concentrators. Conventional solar cells are extremely good at harvesting photons in a very, very narrow uh, wavelength range. Of course, the actual solar spectrum is very, very broad. And so anything that these photovoltaics can harvest is wasted in a photovoltaic cell as heat. We're developing a technology, photon enhanced thermionic emission, that can use this photon fraction, which photovoltaic cells use, in addition to all of this uh, uh, heat energy. Um, the photon enhanced thermionic emission process is designed to work best at high solar concentrations and at high temperatures. And that allows us to potentially use it in tandem with existing uh, solar thermal devices. In my poster, I'll be explaining the theoretical uh, potential uh, of this process and also explain some of our more recent experimental work is focusing on making the process itself, the PEEP process, as efficient as it can be. Thank you. Our next speaker is Michael Baracco. Good morning. Um, my name is Michael Baracco. I work for Professor Ken Goodson uh, in mechanical engineering. And my research is in developing uh, thermoelectric devices for automotive applications to recover some of the waste heat from the hot combustion gases. And these gases tend to be expelled as waste heat around 600 degrees Celsius. And there's a lot of energy there, and there's a lot of energy that we expect to be able to harvest uh, by converting it back to electricity. Um, so to tackle this challenge, we're actually looking at two different approaches. Uh, one is to improve the bulk thermoelectric material. So these are the actual semiconducting materials that convert a temperature gradient into an electrical potential. And we stack these uh, in these devices so that by imposing one side being very hot, which is on the combustion side, and one side being at the ambient side, we get a temperature gradient. And as a result, we can generate electricity. And our goal is to develop and characterize these materials such that they're optimized for this high temperature performance. Uh, the second big improvement that we're looking at is using nanostructured thermal interface materials to improve both the efficiency of the device and the reliability of the device. So when you have large temperature gradients, thermomechanical stresses tend to put a lot of uh, pressure on these interfaces. And this can lead to cracking and device failure, ultimately. 
And so our goal is to use scalable nanostructured uh, films, such as vertically aligned carbon nanotubes uh, and metal nanowires, to, to take advantage of this high thermal conductivity that we can get in the axial direction, but also to gain mechanical compliance to prevent device failure at these uh, stress levels. Thank you. Our next speaker is Sanaya LeBlanc. Good morning. My name is Sonia LeBlanc. I'm a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering. I work, work with Professor Ken Goodson in mechanical engineering and Professor Alberto Saleo in material science and engineering. Um, today I'll be discussing the work that I've done in recent years on zinc oxide nanowires for energy conversion. The reason I decided to pursue zinc oxide nanowires, they weren't, it wasn't actually the material system that I started with, but in looking around at what people were doing with nanostructuring for energy conversion, um, I was drawn to two things. One, the nanostructuring component, our ability to actually control the material property um, of perhaps a bulk material by nanostructuring. But I was also drawn to the needs on the application side. And what I was seeing in nanostructured materials is that with some of the very novel materials, they were made out of rare elements, um, which is not very sustainable for many of the energy conversion applications we're looking at. So I was looking for a material that was abundant, I was looking for a material that was non-toxic, and I was looking for a nanostructured material that could be rapidly manufactured and done expensively as well, inexpensively as well. And for the applications that I'm looking at, which are converting heat into electricity or con um, converting light into electricity, I wanted appreciable electrical conductivity and the potential to lower the thermal conductivity. And I found all of these characteristics in zinc oxide nanowires. So I'm looking at characterizing individual zinc oxide nanowires, the individual property of a wire, the interaction between multiple wires, so if I have two wires touching each other, what happens to the transport of electrons and phonons through that junction? And then how does that scale to the overall properties of a nanostructured film, which is similar to what we would actually be using in an en energy conversion application? So I'd be happy to answer some of those questions that I've posed if you come by my poster. Thank you. Thank you. 